Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. In this video we look at trigonometry and finding unknown angles. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and you'll see the answer at the end. Trigonometry, finding unknown angles. As well as finding unknown sides, trigonometry allows you to find unknown angles in right angle triangles using the trigonometric ratios. In the following problem, we use the sine ratio, and that's sine, S-I-N for short. You can see here we're asked to find this angle. We've been given the opposite and the hypotenuse, so that's why we use sine. Now we want the answer to the nearest whole degree. So sine theta equals 3 over 5, of course that's opposite over hypotenuse. Sine theta equals 0 0.6. So theta is the inverse sine of 0 0.6. So if you use your calculator to work that out, theta is 37 degrees to the nearest degree. In the next problem, we're given theta, we have to find what that angle is, but we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So in this problem, we use the cosine ratio, or cos, and we have to find the degree to the nearest whole degree. So cos theta is 5 over 8, cos theta is 0 0.625, so theta is the inverse cos of 0 0.625, and that gives you 51 degrees to the nearest whole degree. And the final little problem here is finding theta again. This time we've been given the opposite and the adjacent. So that's why we use the tangent ratio, which is tan. We're finding the angle to the nearest whole degree. So tan theta equals 4 over 5, which is opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 0 0.8. So theta is the inverse tan of 0 0.8. So theta is 39 degrees to the nearest whole degree. Here's a quick quiz. Very similar to what we just did. So please check the video at any time. What is the meaning of the following? The answer, lemonade. And I've given you a little clue here in case you find that a bit tricky, but I think you'll understand that one. And here are the answers to the quick quiz. And please check through the video at any time to help you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you'll receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.